Hey Terry, it's Wild here. I'm just going to show you what the whole numbers thing looks like. So I use search a lot, so I'm just going to go over here. I type numbers. When On the iPad, if you go right, it'll bring you to the search interface. Obviously, I've done this once before. So I'll load up numbers. And what it basically does is it has a, a list of things that you already have. So it usually comes up into my spreadsheets. For the very first time, it'll start with this spreadsheet called Numbers, introducing you to it and show you into, showing it to you. But if we go up here, if you notice, we go up there to My Spreadsheets. Okay, I'll just click on that. And I have one there, but which I did earlier. But let's I'll just make a new one. So I go down here and I just click here, New, New Spreadsheet. What, what kind do you want it to be? So there's a bunch of templates and stuff. Let's say I just want to do a blank spreadsheet. No big deal. And what most of the people want to do in numbers, just like Excel, is make uh, some calculations. So first, if you notice here, we got uh, a like row header and a column header. So if I go within the column header, it's going to automatically know that this is text. So like I said, double click on it or whatever. And it'll bring up the keyboard and it'll start doing text. So let's say I say account name. Okay. And then I'll go to the next cell over here and we'll say... Uh, forecast and then maybe we do something like um, now by default it thinks you want to enter in numbers here okay but as you know I, I want to put the text in there so I just hit T for text and let's so we say pets.com and maybe the forecast amount the forecast amount we'll go back here and I tell it hey I want to be a number oops sorry okay double click and number, and then here maybe I'm going to enter my forecast amount here, for example. Let's say it's $500,000, okay? Um, and I just hit a dollar, and it knows that it's dollars, so done. Okay, great. So obviously it went into a uh, number of decimal points there, which is cool. So I'll go to another one. I'll double-click on that, and I'll just say change this back to text. And then let's say this is going to be Netscape. And maybe my forecast is going to be, again, we'll go back to numbers, the num numeral there, and we'll say $425,000. I'll just hit the dollar so it knows that it's dollars. It's just, just something I'm trying. Uh, if I wanted more columns, I could just drag this over left and right to have more. So I don't really have to do a lot of inserting. It's kind of a cool way to, to do that. But now let's make a total. Okay, so we're making our forecast, obviously. Sorry about the jagginess. And I'm just going to go here and do this again. We'll say change back to T, say forecast, forecasted amount. No, not Matt. It does try to do autocorrect. Okay, forecasted amount. Um, I'm sure there's probably a way that I can make the... Uh, the column wider. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Okay. So anyways, now I got this. Now the next thing I need to do is make a formula. Okay. So I just hit this little equals sign and then I just drag over the ones I want. And as you can see, it's now summed C2 and C3. There you go. So that's not too hard. That's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Um, Oh, oh, check that out. That's cool. I want to make this column wider. I just click on the column header and then now just, oh wait, that selects them. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I just drag this. Okay. See that little, um, that little tick mark right there. You just take and drag that thing over and it makes it wider. That's kind of cool. Just stylistically. We might probably want to do that with this one over here so we can see the decimal points and move it over. That's kind of nice. Okay, so cool, we did that. Now, where do we save it? No, we're, don't need to. It's already saved. So if I just click back to my spreadsheets, everything we're doing, it's already been saving it the whole time. So if I go to another document like this one, and then I go back to my spreadsheets, as we can see, um, it's loading it, and it saved it in the state that we had it. As a matter of fact, we do get a nice preview of it, which I kind of like. Now, um, we need to share it or save it. 
A couple things. When you open up a document, you can say download, copy it from iTunes because you can basically put documents in iTunes that you want automatically uploaded onto your iPad. You can copy it from iDisk, and iDisk is like a cloud service that Apple has with a something co they call Mobile Me, or WebDAV is just another website. Okay, so you can open stuff from the cloud, which I kind of like. Um, and then let's say I wanted to take and email this. So this is my spreadsheet here. It's obviously selected. And maybe we want to take, uh, I just press that button below, and maybe we want to either send it to email the spreadsheet. We'll take it, email that, because that's an easy way to do it. Just click email. Now, how do we want to email it in? Numbers for an Apple user, PDF for a customer, or maybe, sorry about the, the shaking here. Let's, let's change this to here. Okay, we'll say XLS. And now it's going to make an Excel spreadsheet. It's going to attach it to the email. We'll say uh, to, you know, just, to email to mwildsplunk.com and I'll hit send. Okay, there we go. And this is using my Splunk account. Okay, it's sent off. Now let's go uh, back to my email account. And uh, I'll just hit, uh, what, go up here and hit get mail. Let's hit it a couple times. Okay, there we go, there's blank one. Okay, as we can see, it's an Excel spreadsheet. Now let's open it up to see, okay, is it really an Excel spreadsheet? So yeah, there. Now, um, huh, let's change this. Netscape. And uh, we'll say, we'll change, we'll add this to, um, let's say, Ernst and Young. Although I think they're in the news for some bad things today. And we'll say, the amount here is gonna be $25,000. And we need to change our, our our sum here. So maybe we change this from C2 to C4, just you know, just using Excel the way we normally use it. Let's see how did I do that right? No, no, no. C2 to actually we'll just change this to C4. Okay. All right. So now we have our new total. I'm gonna save that thing. Maybe I'll just email this. We'll save this workbook. And then in Excel, I'm just going to email this, because I think you can do that in Excel. Share. I'll email it back to myself. No big deal, right? mwild. It's blog.com. No big deal. I'll just send it. doesn't matter. Sure, whatever. Okay. So now let's go back to the iPad. I'm going to go back here to Mail. Just hit the button. And we go down to Mail. It should be already here because it's push. It's actually faster to get email on your iPad than it is on your uh, on your uh, phone or on your thing. So there we go. There's a new message I sent. We go back here, and I click on this right here. If I hold this down, it'll say, you know, if I click on here, it's just going to do a quick look where it'll look at it, and we can see it, obviously. Um, but if I wanted to go in and edit it, I could just press my finger over this, Right there, it says open in numbers. Here, hold on, there we go. Open in numbers. Now it's gonna open up the spreadsheet in numbers. It's importing it. And as we can see, um, there's some fonts in here that, that are missing because it's on my desktop, but it doesn't really matter. It's a freaking Excel spreadsheet, so. As we can see, we kind of did the whole round trip, so there you go. Hopefully that helps you understand how you might use numbers with the iPad. See ya.